Hey, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've missed you the last, boy, I think it's been a week or so. Um, there's just been a lot going on and I'll kind of talk a little bit about that. Nothing too bad, but uh, things can just kind of get away from you. I am working this morning. Walmart Spark just arrived at Bay 3. Got a $21 order that's only three miles away. I'm of course gonna go for 100 this week. I'm only waiting tables one time this week. A uh, little scary, but I have 400 bucks left in my branch account. So I can just transfer that right over, throw the rest of week's work into there and um, work in one night. So I think I'll get to where I need to be. I'm not super worried about that, but all right, I'm gonna get this order and then we shall chat. Okay, drop off successful, 21 bucks. I'm back in the vicinity of Walmart, hoping to get another order here in the next few minutes. I feel like Walmart Spark has cooled down for me. I could not keep up with the orders, but I think that's the beauty of multi-apping. It fills in the gaps, keeps you going when one's hot and the other is not. Um, but so what else has been going on? Uh, well, did make a bit of a mistake Saturday. I drank way too much. My buddy had a baby shower. No, I didn't get hammered. In. I kind of got hammered at a baby shower. And it was kind of a slash wedding reception too. We got a small, small wedding in Boston and came home and probably had like 50 or, or 60 people there total on Saturday. And we had a concert on Sunday to see fish. And we meet up for a drink or two pregame and uh, have a beer, it's all good. Have a vodka cranberry because eh, I don't know if they'll have liquor at the party, right? Me and my friend. And then the third vodka cranberry, which was probably unnecessary, was just like gasoline. It was just filled to the top. And I, oh God, here we go. I, I try to dump some out. Okay, whatever. So we end up at the party. Got some beers I'm not really enjoying. I've already had two vodka cranberry, so why not keep the ball rolling? And that went on till about two. Needless to say, the next morning was a disaster. I was so tired, so hungover. It was such a beautiful morning, about you know, 70, 80 degrees out. Um, my worst nightmare. You can't have the best day ever hungover at all. And I enjoy life so much that I don't need it. I, you know, I guess there was a time when maybe I did or at least did it so much where I thought that I did. But that's that's the opposite of what I want out of a day, what I want out of a night, what I want out of life. Um, and usually something like that will set me on a course of no hangovers until like six or eight months down the road when I forget. But I got my 25th high school anniversary reunion on Saturday and I got the weekend off, Friday and Saturday. And uh, so I think I'm gonna have to get back on the horse a little bit Saturday, uh, but much, much more low key. I have to be smart. I have to drink water. I can't be too cool for water in between my drinks. Um, I don't wanna waste Sunday. I don't wanna be tired. I don't wanna have a hangover. I don't wanna just act foolish at the reunion or uh, get out of control or anything like that. So that was a mistake, but I paid the price in, in more ways than one. I could not even make it to the concert that we were supposed to go to uh, half an hour away from town. I, we were supposed to meet at like 3.30. I was still feeling sick at that point. Still feeling sick at six, still feeling sick at eight. I caught one song and I had to go home and, and let me tell you how disappointing that was to myself and to my friends. Um, I did try, I gave it everything I had, but uh, not good, not good. But I can't control that now, I can't control that result. All I can control, because it's the past, I can just control how I respond and how I learn. And I've learned a lot, and I can be a slow learner at times. Um, but I can also springboard from failures into success and into happiness and into peace and into joy and into gratitude and and that's the happy spot that I want to be in and so that's what I'm going to try to do 
and make the best of this week, make the best of this coming weekend after Saturday. There's really nothing too much on the horizon. There's two more concerts, but that's fine. Um, I'll, be, I'll be cool with those. All right, uh, $16, $17 order just popped up for Walmart Spark, so I had to jump on that, but I have a little time now until I have to pick that up. So that's that story, and I'm still not right. And leading into, like, health update, um, I've been getting up at 6.30, but I haven't got up at 6.30 this week because I think I'm still overtired. I'm still not right. Um, you know, people my age, all rich, they get hung over for days. And while I've been productive the next the last few days, I still don't feel quite right. But I have been a walking machine. I have been a lifting weights machine, a losing weight machine, eating a lot better, focusing on protein, but certainly not great. I did touch down at 184 on Sunday. Since then, I had to get a little bit of food back in me, so I, I bumped back up to 186.1, where that's where I am right now. Um, 187 was always a big mark for me. I remember the last time I kind of got out of shape. I, 187 was like the top, and then uh, it went back down. So I'm under that little goal, 186.1. Um, I got a lot to shoot for today. I could work hard today. Today is a lifting day and I, I will hopefully go for a walk and play some soccer outside with the girls today and and love to get down to 185 if I could. 185 point whatever. Um, that's huge. You can start getting close to rounding down to 179. So I'm, I'm slowly on the way there. It's not just going to be a cannonball drop. There'll be ups and downs. Had a little, uh, little ice cream last night after the girls soccer game. Monday was kind of like my cheat day because I hadn't had one of those in a while and I uh, had some good fish fry and a milkshake. So I'm not being 100%, but I do want to start food journaling. I'm working out journaling right now, um, listing the exercise that I'm doing, the reps, the weights, what I weigh at the, and the dates. So I'm following my progress there, but I, I do want a food journal just like we spend track. I think we should food track as well and we can kind of see when and where and what and how we are doing so that's that's that for that one but that's my update right now lots of lots of plans today i want to show you guys this keyboard haul i got i got three vintage casio keyboards for ten dollars total they're worth like hundreds each um i went to walmart they had no cords i went to walmart last night to get a cord it worked for two of them. The other one needs a different cord, but no sound was coming out of these. So I don't know if I'm gonna need speaker or headphones or a speaker. I'm gonna test some of those today. I have this crazy harpoon that came with my house that I'm gonna to try to sell finally. I'll show you guys that. Um, lots of other things going on and lots of different things to chat about. But I will be at about $37 after I do this order at 845. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so that was crazy. I dropped the second, the first order off fine. The second order, it went to this apartment building that always sends me far away, like gave me the wrong direction. So with Instacart, you can just kind of mark yourself there. With Walmart Spark, you can't. So I dropped it off. Then I'm talking to Walmart Spark for like 10 more minutes. Just annoying. Asking me all these questions, survey questions. I'm like, just please. Um, mark this order as complete and I'm like am I gonna get reimbursed for driving all over the city going to the wrong place no there's no reimbursement okay whatever I'm at about $37 for the day I just picked up a $12 order which will get me to 47 near 50 bucks depending on the change in some of these uh, by about 945 but I knew my app was still acting kind of funky because I was in the chat and my other one got closed out by the support and so one order came in I took it it wasn't for very much money then that order seemed to disappear and I had to take another one but that one is gone but the first one is still there so uh, now I am at Walmart for this $12 order sometimes these orders have tips that come in late and it seems to be happening lately so I'm not totally um, bummed about this small order but I'm keeping the ball rolling I've had Instacart on but nothing has really presented itself yet I kind of like these Walmart Spark orders. Um, 
because you're outside of the store, you get kind of 20 minutes in between, there's pros and cons to that. You know, you're able to stop home, you're able to be outside. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, halfway home before 10 a.m. though, I'll take it and we'll chat soon. The crazy day just keeps getting crazier. So I told you I had like multiple orders coming in. I accepted multiple orders and they were getting kicked out and some were staying. Well, I did that just small one and then I go back to look for the next batch and the other one that I accepted and then said I didn't accept and then another one came in was still there. So now I am like half an hour late to this pickup. I'm at Walmart, no one has come out yet. I don't know if the order's still here. I don't know what they're gonna say. It wasn't my fault, but here we go. Okay, so that was crazy. I couldn't even keep up with the video, with the orders. I had orders behind orders and then other orders coming in. It was crazy, I've never seen anything like it. It somehow worked out. I somehow ended up about in the 90s, I would say, from 7.30 to 11.30. That's not too bad, realistically. I mean, you can double that and, and live a good life, I would think, especially with no debt. Um, there's someone meeting at my house around one to pick up just some CDs. It's gonna be like 10 bucks. There's kind of some stuff I had laying around and that were parts of another deal. So I think I'll throw that into today's earnings and that'll be a hundo right there. Um, a couple things I want to talk about. I don't know if I like want to niche down with this channel. I have, like, I like the idea of doing reactions. They seem fun to me, especially music that I have never heard before or just funny stuff. I think that would be fun. I like the idea of fitness um, and just kind of showing how, what I'm doing and, and what could be done and how it's not quite as easy for me as it looks on uh, other channels. Um, I think that that's interesting to me, exploring different workout routines. I'm into working out now. I'm into yoga and you know, I'm far from perfect with the diet for sure. And maybe talk some about that, but I don't know. I've been thinking of that. I also love doing my talks and I love doing my shops and ride along. So I don't know if I, if I should break those up, if I should keep them all together. I don't know. Um, what else was I gonna say? Speaking of working out, I love the idea of a minimalist gym. I, I would cringe at the idea of spending $50, $60, $70 or more on a gym membership every month. I'm, I'm thinking you can do a lot with body weight. You can do a lot with dumbbells. You can do a lot with a bench and a barbell. You can do a lot of cardio. That's where probably most of us need to be, right? In general. And once you got that figured out, then maybe if you want to take it a step further, you know, but you know, that stuff adds up. But then I'm thinking, oh, tonal, that might be awesome. Might be absolutely amazing. It's like costs as much as a trip to Disney World. It's like 4,000 something or $84 a month for four years. And that to me sounds like debt. Does it sound like an investment in yourself? That seems like a little too much. I'm getting a pretty good workout now, but there's moves that I can't do in some of these in some of these workouts I gotta turn the air on a little bit here um, so I'm curious you know I'd love to be able to do different things uh, like leg presses and just cable crossovers that you can't do with a dumbbell but there's plenty of good full body dumbbell workouts out there so who knows I don't think I'll spring for that much but maybe maybe something you know to look forward to so i was thinking about that also thinking about um some shows that i just watched i just finished up succession oh my god what a great show um it really struck me every episode how these people had it all and the family was just a mess and they had it all and they were never happy and always wanted more and and we can see how broken they were at the end by that and it just goes to show you money doesn't buy you happiness and and you can have a lot but there's always going to be something more there's always something that I want now but how do we break free it's by eliminating that desire and comparison is the thief of joy just being happy with what we got and um, but I did enjoy watching the show with my wife I thought the characters were really good 
Uh, and then I got to mention this one documentary. It's on Paramount. It's Paramount Plus. It's called I Want to Rock. It's three parts of a documentary about hair metal and glam bands from like the 80s, like Poison and Motley Crue and Skid Row and Vixen and some other ones, D. Snyder, Twisted Sisters in there. I just thought it was fascinating. Um, that genre is pretty fascinating, how it came into B, how it came, how it fell apart with like the advent of grunge. Um, I really liked it. As a kid growing up in the 80s, it has some nostalgia for me. And as selling vinyl records, you know, people go crazy for those 80s hair metal bands, um, just as much as they would do classic rock. So I really enjoyed watching that. And we just started 65 on Netflix. It's that movie where I think Adam Driver is, travels to Earth 65 million years ago in a spaceship and has to fight dinosaurs. Yeah, I'm watching that. On Paramount, I started uh, Bruce Springsteen, the No Nukes concert from 1979. I watched a couple songs so far to get warmed up for um, the show coming up in September. But yeah, that's kind of what I got going on today. I'm gonna go home, chill eat a little lunch, play with the kids, make a quick sale, maybe list some stuff for sale. I do some swimming. It's going to be like 95. I hope you're staying cool. It's good to be back with you and I will talk to you on the next video.